Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics with your release for this Sunday. It's a special one this week. It is a double brush poly solids release. We have 17 new fabrics for you. And I just went and had a look to see what we have already out in the warehouse. We have 63 other colors for you. So what's that? 80 different colors in double brush poly, which is, I'm a bit proud of the range of colors. I think that's heaps. Um, Still, we have prints that we can't seem to find a coordinating colour for, but it gives you a lot of options having all of those. So, because it is a special release today, these new fabrics and the other Double Brush Poly solid fabrics that we already have in stock are going to be just reduced a little bit in price, um, just as a release day special. So, these will be $15 per metre just for today, just for Sunday. So... Let me, get my little mat there, let me show you some of these amazing colours. Um, first of all, let me tell you a little bit about brushed poly. So these are all double brush poly, which means it has been brushed on both sides of the fabric. Many of you know this, I know, um, but for those of you who are new to Lush or new to the videos, you might not be overly familiar with double brush poly. This is kind of our staple fabric, you know, we have more of this fabric than any others it comes in the most amazing prints it's just beautiful and all these great colors as well but mainly we have so much of it because you can do so much with this particular fabric um, it's just it's so versatile it has really great stretch but it also has really great recovery on that stretch which is what makes it so versatile so you could make a fitted garment you could make a flowy garment you can make leggings and you can't make leggings out of just anything. Um, and the, the best leggings are amazing. So not necessarily for exercise style leggings, but for casual wear leggings, they're fantastic. You know, dresses, tops, pants, skirts. You can make a cardigan, a little jacket. There's just so much that you can do with it because it is so versatile in its stretch. It's about 180 GSM, which I think of as um, t-shirt weight. It's kind of, you know, it feels the weight of a t-shirt. Not too thick, not too thin, just really nice. And it feels so, so soft. This fabric is amazingly soft. If you're still not sure what the deal is with Double Brush Poly or what you could do with Double Brush Poly, just go to our Facebook group, so Lush Fabrics Australia, um, and just search in the search bar brushed poly or double brush poly and you will get so many different makes not just from what we've done um, but our customers as well it'll give you some really good ideas so try and use that search function if you're ever unsure of what to do with a fabric or what it looks like sewing up you can try searching for it in the group all right so let me show you this I'm not going to open up all the colors because they all do behave in the same way but I want to show you the beautiful stretch on this fabric. It's so nice and it is so buttery soft. It's just gorgeous. It's got vertical stretch as well. And look at that beautiful drape. So searching this in the group will show you how well it works in a tight garment and a flowy drapey garment. Okay, so this first color is called Dusty Purple. I couldn't find a thread to match this one, unfortunately. Um, so you might just have to find something else that you already have in your stash or something from another shop. I have um, tried to group the colors together for these fabrics just so I can then show you them together at the end. So that first one there, Dusty Purple. And now we have Vintage Plum. Isn't that gorgeous? We had a hard time getting some purples and now we've got a lot of purples in. So that should keep the purple lovers happy, I hope. This one is a violet blue. It's gorgeous. So beautiful. A violet blue. And the last of the purples, this one is Dark Lavender. Do I have... A, I do have a match for this one. Three zero. Four, one doesn't look like a great match on there does it but it's a little bit closer in person than what it's looking right there okay so we have dark lavender we have violet blue 
we have vintage plum oops let's hide that little tag that i've got on there and then we have dusty purple so these are all your purples for today just so you can see some of that shade difference that's in there they're all gorgeous they're all beautiful all right let's put these here now we have light charcoal so we've had charcoal before it was a deeper color than this one so we haven't really reinvented the wheel we just called it light charcoal uh, we've got 1629 to match with this one Oops, all of these threads will be linked on the product page on our website so you will find all of that information there light brown Again, you know, here's me who doesn't really like browns, but I'm loving this colour. It's so lovely and warm and rich. It's really nice. No matching thread for this one. We have beige. This will be really nice for like a nude lining. Um, it might be a little bit light, uh, but if it's not something that you're going to see a great deal of, it might be a really nice colour for a lining. Do I have a matching thread? Yes, I do. One, four, five, three is a matching thread for that one. Uh, next, oh, next we have what I'm wearing. This is mulberry, this colour. It is a, it's like a burgundy maroon colour, but it's kind of got a little bit of a brown tone to it, which isn't really showing up too much in this light. But certainly when I put it on this morning, I thought, oh, that definitely has a bit of a brown tone. This is the Agnes top from Tilly and the Buttons. And I made this just as part of my staple wardrobe that I have in winter, which includes long sleeve tops underneath jumpers or underneath a jacket or something like that. So it's got the nice wide round neckline. So it doesn't interfere too much on the neckline of the jumper. So you can't necessarily see it too much, but it still looks really nice under a jacket. So, I mean, I've made all sorts of different garments with double brush poly, and this is my most boring garment that I've made with double brush poly, but I'll get a lot of wear out of it. And it's really, really nice for winter. You know, on the colder mornings, it's it's really nice to wear um, as a layering piece, not on its own, but as a layering piece. So I couldn't find a thread match for this one. This is the cut. I just used black. Um, let me show you a straight bit of top stitching if I can. So, I mean, it's not perfect. That's not a straight bit. You can see all the wobbles there. Um, it's not perfect, but it's okay. You know, it's, if it was, you know, a really fancy dress, I probably would have tried a bit harder to match it. But for what this is, I'm pretty happy with that black thread. Yes, you can see it, but it's not, whoa, what's going on with that thread. That's a really pretty color. Mulberry next we have some pinks so this one is pink coral we have had a coral before but this is slightly different it's not quite the same shade so we've just gone with pink coral and it goes with one four zero two that one and then we have heavenly pink a very pretty little pink which doesn't have a matching thread and dusty rose which does and it's one six five one is a matching thread for that one so dusty pink heavenly pink and pink coral they're your three pinks there they're quite different actually um some of you might laugh at that i guess these do have some similarities but i do think they are quite different okay so those are your pinks. Let's look at your greens and your blues. First one is light sea green. This is the sweetest color. It's really nice, this one. I don't have a matching thread for this light sea green. And then we have go green, which is nice. It's similar to the sea foam, but not the same. Uh, no matching thread again. So that's those two together, the go green and the light sea green. So they're pretty different. And the blues. What do we have here? Blue Arctic. This is gorgeous. 
this one, no matching thread. And then dark denim, which is really nice. This one's a bluey green, teal green, we've called this one. So we've got a few teals now um, in our little arsenal at the back there. 1612, that's not looking great on the screen. It does look better in real life. And then royal. So we've had royal blue before. We've had royal blue 2.0. And this one is just not quite the same as either. So we've just called it royal. We just kept it simple. It's just royal. 3502 is the match for that one. Okay, so royal teal green which is probably not so much a part of this family but we'll put it in there anyway dark denim and blue arctic see all of those oh all my threads are just tumbling to the floor they've all rolled off okay so that's all of your blues and that is our 17 new colors for you today surely there's something that will work for you um, in that lot, whether it's for just like a really simple layering piece or some leggings, or if you want to make yourself a beautiful outfit, you know, a gorgeous dress and cardigan or jacket to go over the top or some nice pants and top. There's just so much that you can do with this fabric. So it's a nice, nice quick video today because I don't have all the coordinates to show you and it's just the one fabric type to tell you about. Um, please remember we have our Lush competitions going at the moment. So we've changed up a little bit from last week. Uh, last week, I should say, we changed up a little bit. So now our competition, which is to win a $25 Lush gift card, is running in our Facebook group, which is Lush Fabrics Australia, and on YouTube. So just comment. You can comment on both. You can enter both drawers. That's fine. Um, and we'll give away a Lush gift card to one random person. So all of these are now live on our website, which is www.lushfabrics.com.au. Um, and as I said, they're available a little bit cheaper today. And the other 63 solid colored double brush polys are also a little bit cheaper today. Enjoy. I'll see you again next week with some more goodies. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.